have a really exciting update this time. So, so just to recap, at the beginning of summer, my daughter's left arm was paralyzed. So we decided to build a robotic prosthetic arm to help her move. And this is an update on that project. Now, luckily, Lorelei's arm is not completely paralyzed. She still has movement in her shoulder, even though it's very, very weak. And she has some movement in her wrist. She also still has some very weak signals going to her bicep and her tricep. So when she sends a signal to her bicep from her, her brain, we're going to be able to pick that electrical signal up through a muscle sensor. It's going to trigger the actuator to pull her arm up and when we receive a signal in her tricep that's going to cause the actuator to push her arm back down. This is now our latest prototype. We've learned some lessons um, with regards to where to place the actuator, where to place the joints, how to build the, the prosthetic. We had a number of different uh, versions that we tried before this. We tried with velcro straps and that didn't really work because it pulled the skin too much and it resulted in us losing quite a bit of the potential rotation of the joint so that didn't work so we tried one with two joints on either side with the actuator mounted on top and this one actually worked pretty well um, we did need this one to be far more rigid for it to really work so we we worked on a couple of different versions to this. So this is now the most recent ver prototype we, we, we've been working on. We built this uh, with the actuator mounted on the side. And this one worked pretty well. Now this is, again, this is a, 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 a prototype. So uh, what you see here is definitely not the, the end product. This is just something we, we, we built and, and put together um, over, the, over the weekend. So the next job was to get precise measurements of Lorelei's arm so that we can use those measurements to design the braces that will hold the actuator. What's really cool about the Connect is that we are able to use its 3D sensing technology to scan Lorelei's arm. The issue we had with scanning was that somehow I needed to be able to move Lorelei around very, very slowly so that the scanner could pick up everything in detail. And we had challenges with that up until we decided to use this plate. What this allowed me to do was to lie on the floor and slowly move the plate around, getting some detailed scans. Now what we can do with these scans is start to design a perfectly fitting brace to fit her forearm and upper arm. And with the knowledge we have of where to place the sensors and the actuator, we have everything we need in order to, to print out our first 3D printed prosthetic that will bring everything we've done so far together. So that's it for this week. Thank you. All the best. Bye-bye.